Today we have five topics to cover. First, why making your website the centerpiece of your business is a no-brainer, considering that technology now is in the hands of buyers and sellers. Second, marketing to mobile users through QR codes is a surefire way to service one of the fast-growing real estate marketing segments, mobile users. Third, we will discuss call-to-action marketing, which when coupled with your website URL can impact your return. Next, we will review several examples of offline marketing and to review their effectiveness. Then, we'll put our new knowledge to work and your online and offline marketing following Z57 best practices and provide examples that provide the best return on your marketing dollar. And finally, we will review accountability measures. So, let's get started. To make sure you're getting the most out of your this course, I will be asking a couple of questions throughout. Anytime you see a blue question mark, that means it's your turn to answer. Our first question is, what offline marketing do you currently do, and what is your goal? Take a moment to type your answers into the questions box. All right, now, let me share some of your responses. Ashley answered, postcards, I send them out every new listings, and I have a great full page ad in my town newspaper. And Ashley also says, I look fabulous in it. All right, now, return on marketing dollar typically comes up with we discuss offline marketing with clients. Today's strategies are by far the easiest to implement, but also the most important as they directly impact your return on investment. All right, now let's start by reflecting on the consumer behavior of a buyer or seller in today's market. Almost nobody goes online searching for a real estate agent. All right, with 90% of all buyers and sellers going online to search for homes, they are online before they even think about talking to you. Your best friend will go online before he or she even thinks about calling you. And today, online means on a computer, a phone, or a mobile device. This means your website is the centerpiece of your business. It's your online office to an increasingly online consumer. Therefore, if you do not tell your prospects how to find you online, your competition is in a great position to take away your business. By effectively promoting your website in all your direct marketing efforts, you will not only increase the return on your marketing investment, but also ensure that you are capitalizing on the least expensive and most powerful real estate marketing tool, which is word of mouth marketing. For your website to be the centerpiece of your business, you need to tell me about it. Advertise your website in everything you do and include it in every conversation. Be confident everyone you are in contact with knows your website is the first place to explore when buying or selling a home. There are two keys to effectively marketing your website. First, use QR codes. The market is now mobile. Make is a snap to access your website. Second, implement call to action marketing to provide your website URL. Making your lead capture enhanced website the center of your marketing campaign is a great way to generate leads while effectively serving prospects. When you think about it, Mobile technology and home shoppers are a perfect fit. If I'm looking for a home, attending an open house, or just driving around with today's mobile technology, I get instant access to information on every home for sale in the neighborhood in the palm of my hand, and marketing to mobile users means 
QR codes. QR codes embedded information within a barcode that can be scanned using a QR code reader by a mobile device, such as smartphones and tablets. The URL could either be your website, directing a user to the home page of your site, or the QR code could be the URL of a single property website, direct the user to a specific listing. An excellent application of QR codes is on a sign writer. Now imagine this sign is in front of a new listing just on the market. The QR code on the sign is embedded with your website URL. A prospect is going on a walk around the neighborhood and sees the sign. They notice the QR code so they pull out their smartphones and scan it. The user is taken directly to your website and has instant access to all details on the home as well as all your contact information. Today, 50% of Americans use mobile devices. It is critical that you stay current with the ever-evolving world of internet technologies and consumer devices that are becoming more and more used by consumers in the real estate sphere. Today's home buyer and seller expect the real estate expert to have an integrated presence of a power agent. They are connected and instant information is ingrated to their lifestyle. A market wire study from March 2010 reported 66% of buyers use a mobile device during their home search and from that same mobile device 66% ask for more information directly from their mobile device. 60% find listing details and contact information. And 57% navigate to the home using GPS. A mind-blowing 75% of home buyers using a mobile device view property photos or videos. Always including QR codes on all of your offline marketing materials is a big step in servicing the rapidly growing consumer market segment. Including a QR code cannot be simpler. Your Z57 Marketing Control Center automatically generates QR codes for your most important URLs. For a QR code that will direct connect users to the home page of your website, hover over design and content, move your mouse over more to click on global template. Selecting generate QR code will provide you the QR code which you can save to your computer for use in your offline marketing. For individual listings, a QR code is provided for each single property website. First, you will need to ensure that you build a single property website for each listing, which is the last step of adding any listing. Once built, the QR code is available directly from the listing of single property websites. With the QR code graphic downloaded, Simply include this image into your offline marketing layout. It's that easy to market to mobile market. For our mobile website clients, keeping your branding color consistent helps the quickly reassure prospects they're at the right website. Be sure to change the mobile theme in your MCC to match your brand. Our second key to marketing your website is call to action marketing coupled with your website URL. The goal being to get the prospect to take action now. A call to action is a compelling action oriented statement. This writing style requires 
active verbs. Instant home evaluations, visit www. This is a poor call to action. The goal of the statement is to command a very specific behavior or action, such as searching a website or calling you now. Motivating that action, the command gives a compelling reason to act. Your prospect will have a what's in it for me mindset. So make sure they know exactly what they get. Call to action is so important today as website URLs are everywhere and so a part of our lives that we ignore them. Let me give you an example. Think of your favorite beverage. Mine's Coke. Every can or bottle of your beverage and Coke has the website address, coke.com, printed on it. Have you noticed? Have you visited that website? Virtually everybody will say no. There is no compelling reason to visit the site. Now, picture your favorite beverage again. This time, let's say you're taking a sip and print it on the side of the can or bottle you read, free year supply of Coke, win at coke.com. You would have to agree many more people would now visit coke.com. Your offline marketing is no different. By delivering your website URL with an effective call to action, your offline marketing suddenly becomes substantially more effective. Search thousands of homes now is a call to action that we have found to work best in real estate. Searching for homes is what every home buyer is interested in doing, and by trying that to your website URL, I now have a reason for buyers to go there. We have seen how call to action can improve the effectiveness of your message. Now I'd like to give you five tips to creating call to actions. First, make it short. The ideal length for taglines, call to actions, even email subject lines, is between 60 to 80 characters. You need it to be short. For printed matter, 2.5 seconds is the time you have to capture a prospect's attention. It's even less for email. Second, think and read visually. Titles and call to actions in advertising are scanned more than read like a sentence. Some words are scanned more easily. For example, we scan the word stop much like we read a stop sign. Four words stand out as the easiest to scan. Free, new, sale, stop. Third, be bold. Stand out from the pack. Remember, you're trying to influence behavior, so you have to shock prospects out of a routine and jumpstart a new action. Next, keep your audience in mind. Avoid words or phrases that are not familiar with, like MLS, listing alerts, and CMA. Finally, and most importantly, adjectives are lovely but action is what we want. Use active verbs. Have fun creating call to actions and be sure to run them by a few people. Confirm that they understand the statement and what you're asking them to do. We've covered a lot, so I want to take a moment to brainstorm and share some call to actions that you might use for your website URL. What call to action are you going to use to promote your website URL? Take a moment to type your answers into the question box. Let me share some of your responses. Ashley answered, need a new home? Search newhomes.com now. Good job tying the website URL so it reads as part of the call to action. Nate has, find your next house 
with the click of a mouse at natesellsthenorthwest.com. Those are great ideas. Hopefully, that gets you thinking a more about call to actions. Keeping QR codes and call to action in mind, let's look at a few examples of offline marketing and identify what is good and bad about each of them. Our first example is a bus bench ad. Is this ad good or bad and why? Take a moment to type your answers into the question box. Let me share some of your responses. Ashley says, bad because it does not have a website address or any real reason to contact the realtor. Plus, it doesn't have any face on it. Perfect. All of the two key elements are missing. One, there is no QR code. A bus bench ad is an ideal place for a QR code. Two, no call to action. A call to action can be even with a telephone number or a website URL. And no website URL is present, only a telephone number. I don't know about you, but when you're driving down the street at 45 miles, a seven-digit phone number is a lot harder to read and remember than ReneeRealtor.com. Our next example is a business card. Do you think this is an effective marketing piece? Take a moment to type your answers into the question box. Right. Let me share some of your responses. Ashley says, bad and no website address. Nate answered, design is all over the place, no call to action. These are great. So as we can see, there is no QR code and no website URL. Business cards are a huge referral generator as clients hand them to friends. If that friend is just looking, they may not want to pick up the phone and talk to you. In today's business world, many prospects may be just looking or in need of information after business hours. Make sure they know where to go. The call to action is poor. Call the professionals provides me with no motivation to call. Finally, there are two phone numbers, is confusing for prospects and hard to remember. Let's take a look at one last example. For our last example, let me remind you, the goal is to make the website the centerpiece of your business using call to action marketing that gives your prospect a compelling reason to act. This postcard is a real life example. We changed the name of the office. Do you think this would be effective, good or bad, and why? Here's what you said. Nate says, what's up with that photo? Also, it's too busy. Text is lost in the graphics. What stands out is a rather bizarre call to action. I don't know if that would really motivate a great number of prospects. The phone number is the primary contact dominating over the URL. The overall graphic is too busy. The telephone number is getting lost, and many people would not even see the, U web, the website URL on here. Lastly, no QR code, which is OK on a postcard mailed to the home or office. I want to provide examples of integrating your offline and online marketing following Z57 best practices. Let's start with what could be a magazine ad or a postcard mailer. The design is bold and very clear, highlighted by this layout. A strong call to action, 
Your website URL is front and center. Both are quick and easy to read. A QR code is included to direct mobile consumers to your website. And clear contact information makes it easy to get in touch. Now, let's talk about your business card. This is your easiest and most effective online marketing tool. It is easy to keep on hand and easy to hand out to people you meet. It effectiveness can last beyond one client as it gets passed from client who refers you to a friend. So how do you make the most of this? Follow the rules we taught you. Of course, be sure that you always adhere to your state and board regulations of what must appear on the card and be sure to include your company logo as well. But a web focus with a strong call to action is the way you want to go. Searching thousands of homes is a strong call to action that will drive traffic to your website. Using this call to action gives you a strong incentive that will never expire as long as you are working in real estate. Your website URL is the next focal point. It's in a different color and it is clearly displayed across the top, making it a strong driver for traffic to your website. Visiting your website before calling gives your prospects the opportunity to check out all the great tools you have to offer. Your name is front and center. It's easy and in a font that is easy to read. The last item is your location and contact information. You can add your website URL if you'd like to advertise your social connection as well. Where is the QR code, you say? In this example, we put it on the back. For those of you with a ton of business cards already printed, here's a quick tip. Make labels with a call to action and a QR code to your website and adhere it the label to the back of your card. Let me ask you, how many emails do you send every day, every week, or every month? Probably a lot. Take advantage of an easy and free marketing technique by customizing your email signature. Here's an example of an email signature designed for results. You've got all of your contact information along with direct links and a call to action to both your website and your Facebook page. Everything prospects and clients need to connect with you is right here for them to click. For your clients, it's now a snap to share your information and refer a friend. Second, a call to action directs your prospects friends, and associates to your website. Your website URL is in a large font and bold to draw attention. Remember, at some point everyone is looking for a home, even the clients you sold a home to before. And finally, we have a social call to action, an addition designed to get more fans on your Facebook page. You could also include links to other social media channels. If including more than one, be sure to give each a unique call to action so prospects get the information that matters most to them. Now, let's talk about your voicemail greeting. Some agents are surprised that I bring this up, but an effective voicemail message is low-hanging fruit of high return. But think about it. How many voicemails do you get per day? If I get your voicemail, what does it say? If you get 10 voicemails a day, that's 70 drop calls per week. Clients are going to get your voicemail. So doesn't it make sense then to have those missed calls go to your website for immediate service instead of somewhere else? An effective voicemail greeting should execute on three key points. First, 
it must let your prospect or client know what you need to return a call properly. Second, the voicemail greeting needs to set expectations as to when you will return their call. Most importantly, deliver them immediate service so they're not tempted to go somewhere else instead else by including your website URL. Let me give you two examples. Hi, it's Kim with Realty Plus. I'm out with clients now, but leave me a message and I'll call you back when I get a chance. And just remember, every referral from you is a testament of my success. Thanks. Bye. Or, hello, you've reached Patrick Kitson with Z57. I am currently unavailable. Please leave me your name and number. I will return your call between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. I may be unavailable by phone, but I am always available online where you can search thousands of homes right now at PatrickSellsSanDiego.com. Thank you. Speak with you soon. So which sounds better and why? Provide your feedback using the questions box to the right. It's a no-brainer. The second voicemail sounds better. My personal challenge to you is to record a new voicemail greeting directly after this interactive webcast, including your website URL and a call to action. Today, I'm going to remind you results do not happen overnight. You must stay accountable to doing your homework, posting on Craigslist, sending a listing postcard, posting to Facebook, and following up with your leads. Consistency is key in generating results online. For the offline marketing strategies we covered today, implementation is key. Once you incorporate these concepts into your marketing, they will become part of your best practices. Start with your voicemail greeting and your email signature. Implement the strategies that we covered today. Within one week, your goal is to add a QR code to your business card. By the end of the month, add a QR code to your sign rider or the flyer box on your sign rider. Our example voicemail greeting is provided in the Marketing Control Center along with a sample email signature. Also, four offline marketing pieces incorporating Z57 best practices are available for reference. For additional ideas, click on 10 ways to promote your website. For next to nothing, marketing your website can be fun and effective. At this point, I would like to open the floor. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, please type submit then through the question box. We have time for one more question. Excellent. Before I let you go, we have one last thing to review. In addition to these interactive webcasts and one-on-one -on -one coaching, Z57 provides valuable training and marketing resources available 24-7 in the Academy campus. Log on through your Marketing Control Center to access the campus course library. The course library provides materials specific to this Academy course and other courses as well. All resources mentioned during the seminar along today along with additional how-to guides, scripts, or other reference materials can be downloaded in the reference materials section on their specific course. That, that just about wraps up our interactive webcast for today. Thank you for attending. You are a great audience and it was a pleasure to host. A survey is going to pop up on the screen in just a moment. Feedback is appreciated.
and I would love your feedback. As a reminder, you always have access to unlimited support at Z57. Please take a note of the three different ways you can reach a marketing consultant to answer any questions or concerns you have. The team is also great at coaching you to help you achieve the best possible results with your program. 